Hello, it's Nikki. How are you doing? How's things? Um, I'm going to be in part four, uh, referring a little bit back to that book that I was mentioning called The Desire Map about core desired feelings. And it can be really tricky sometimes when you hang your hat on a particular goal. And if you've read a lot of salacious celebrity autobiographies like I have, there are so many like, I just won the Grammy, but I felt so empty inside. Or um, I'd met the love of my life, but I just didn't know who I was. And I think sometimes when we set really specific goals, we can achieve them and either not feel what we thought we would feel, but then also gallop onto the next thing. So we don't stop, we don't acknowledge, we don't see what has been going on. Um, and so I have always had goals, of course, of course, but I also am committed to a way of life as well. And I've really tried to do that with my exercise too. You know, there's definitely gonna moments where, I don't know, I mean, I might think about like, what's my perfect weight? But for me, that's that's not really helpful because then as soon as I see it on the scales, I'm like, okay, well now what? And like, what if I then put on three pounds? Or like, I don't wanna live in that way. However, if I make my exercise habit into a way of life is of like, I am someone who exercises regularly, who <laughs> sounds like an affirmation, doesn't it? I am someone who exercises regularly, who is strong, who is supple, who is flexible, um, who is vibrant and full of energy, then that I can get behind. That's exciting to me. And so I want to ask you a question in this to broaden up the picture a little bit. So to zoom out slightly on what your season is in terms of your goals, um, September to December, and really talk and inquire about who is the you in there. So a couple of things that I was thinking about, and I would like to say that I am still kind of committed to, I, really wanted to inhabit the life of a person who was excited about living, who was not just on countdown to the weekend or a bank holiday or complaining about the weather or, I don't know, you know when people are always clock watching, like, well, I better get back, it's gonna be a bit late and, oh, you know, 270 days till Christmas. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I really just wanna be somebody who is living in the moment, who is present, who is there, who is connected, who is lively, who is spirited, who is asking questions, who is in conversation. And one of the things that I've really discovered is that most of my work comes from a conversation. Most of my work comes from a connection or a referral or a, oh my goodness, it sounds exactly what my pal is looking for or tell me more about what you do again or you would be perfect for this, I thought of you so I'm going to link you into an email. That's how things happen. And what happens sometimes is when we set these big audacious goals, we think that, right, I've got to grind now, I've got to be in this zone where I'm like doing it, I am focused, I'm working on the goal. And we forget to give that wiggle room to being the person that we want to be. So we cram our diary full of all the things and then we don't allow any time for rest or for play or reconnecting or any of those things. So when I'm thinking about the person that I want to be and the goals that I want to achieve in this season, I'm, I'm hop, hopscotching between the two, like, okay, what does this mean? So what do I want to do? And one of the things that came up for me was, I really want to segregate my time a little bit more. So do certain things on certain days, um, and almost, if I can, block out a couple of weeks in advance or at least have my monthly plan of knowing all of the things that are essential in terms of growing my business, but also things that are happening around that time 
to put those in and then make sure I have that other wiggle room lifetime as well. Um, here are some other things. Let me have a little think about what I'm doing. Okay, also, really thinking about what makes me feel good. Mm, this is a this is a, a complex one because again, many of us have this hangover of you've got to work hard, you've got to grind, you've got to hustle, it's got to be hard, you've got to regret it and um, detest it and just have that weird funky relationship where it's like, oh, even on a Saturday night, it's like, oh, only two more sleeps and then I'm back at work again. It's like, oh my goodness, please. I just, I don't want to live in that situation. So really asking yourself how you want to feel, what makes you feel good. And I actually had it the other day with a part of my business where I was like, why am I still doing this? I am not the best person for this job. This does not make me feel good. I'm going to stop doing it, right? I'm going to outsource it. And then I just knew what to do. Like I sent these emails out and it was all groovy because I made a decision, because I was committed to the vision. I was really leaning into who that future person was. And so spend some time with that person today. I would love you to do that. Also, if you... I guess Jam and Plan would be really great for you if you just need to reconnect, click in with everything that is going on. It's a four hour workshop split into four different sessions. So you can do it in a day. And I love that because I think there was always this pressure that it wasn't real, the development, or it wasn't honorable enough unless you went to Bali, unless you really found yourself, unless you, I don't know, danced with a tiger in the middle of the desert, or not the desert, the jungle. Um, but actually, we now know, because of COVID, uh, that we weren't traveling at that time, but yet many of us were still able to discover what we liked about our lives, what we didn't, what made us feel good, what worked, what didn't. And Jam and Plan is exactly that. It's that really juicy, all killer, no filler um, workshop that you can dig into and get some really brilliant answers without doing a flight to Bali and dancing with the tiger in the jungle, as I said. But um, sometimes we just need those. Sometimes we need an answer of like, where am I? What am I doing? It really brings you back to yourself. And the first version I ever launched of Jam and Plan was on the 8th of June, 2020, when the world was fully upside down. So that just goes to show um, it was a sold out event and um, it was exactly what people needed at that time. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here and uh, part of this and I'll catch you next time. Bye.